Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom Universal Studios intro using 3D software called Blender. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to go online, and I suggest that you go on to this website called downloads.com, and you can go up to the top, and, um, hold on a second. Um, you can uh, go up to the top and on top of uh, downloads.com you can type in Blender into the um, search bar and then there should be a page of search results right here and um, Blender is free and whenever you download it it's also going to direct you to a page that uh, is called python.com and you need to download Python along with Blender because um, it is uh, required that you have Python. So then you want to go onto a website called WoodyFamilyCinema.com and on WoodyFamilyCinema.com you want to go down and you want to click on Custom Intros and Projects and right here you want to click on the one with the Universal Studios emblem and it says Universal.zip so you're going to click on that and um, you want to click Save but I've already saved it so I'm just going to close out of that and I'm going to minimize that. Alright, now uh, whenever you get it, uh, it's going to put it into Documents, so you want to open up Documents, and there should be a folder on Documents um, called Universal uh, something. Mine says Universal underscore Intro underscore Custom. So I'm going to double click on that, and um, hold on a second, let it load you want to download that and uh, inside there's another folder which is loading right now okay um, alright here's another folder so you want to click on that and then you want to go and you want to click on the one that says Universal Original it's up there and the one that I got also came with Universal Death Star and you may notice it also includes the Universal sound to it um, and so whenever you want to open that up, you want to double click on Universal Original and it should open up Blender. So I'm just going to close out of this. And I've already um, opened it, so here's what it looks like. Hold on a second. Alright, so I've already changed the names, uh, the name on the template. So what you want to do first is you want to make sure that uh, on panels, you want to click on panels on the left and you want to click on editing so I'm going to click on that and then this should pop up and to change the words um, you want to go over to your word and you want to right click on it and it should uh, highlight in pink okay hold on a second alright so it's highlighted in pink and then you want to uh, press tab the button tab and you can backspace on your words now and um, I like it the way it is um, how it is right now so I'm not gonna do anything with it uh, oh, whoops screw that up hold on and whenever you finish typing in your words you wanna press tab to make it pink again and then you wanna press A to deselect it and whenever you press A to deselect it it should go back like that and to change the word uh, down there it should say feature presentation if you want to change that uh, right click on it and press tab and it should uh, it should be in that highlighted or that uh, clear state and I like it the way it is uh, whoops what is that that's weird alright so um, I like it the way it is so I'm just gonna press tab but um, after you figure out what you want to type just press tab and then press A to deselect it. Hold on a second. Alright, press A. Okay, so you want to go up to the top and click render and then go down and click on render settings and after you click on render settings there should be another page down here. Okay, and uh, you want to make sure that your size of X is 1280 and you want to make sure that your size Y is 720 because that's a full screen for YouTube and that'll look pretty cool and um, you want to go over and you want to uh, determine where you, you're gonna put it 
like if you want to put it in documents or something, go over there and click on the file thing and it, it should say renders next to it. And uh, you can determine where you're going to put it by pressing P. It's just the same thing as, as going back a folder. And if you have Windows, you want to go down and you want to click on Users. And you want to, um, my name's the camcorder man on there, so I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to click on documents. And uh, if I like documents, then I'm going to pr uh, press the button that says select output pictures. And, um, hold on a second. And that is pretty good. Um, okay, so uh, whenever you get all that stuff finished, um, there, uh, you want to change AVI codec to AVI JPEG. It's the best quality and fastest uh, version that you can, um, for fastest format that you can download. And notice it says 700 down there. Uh, what is that? All right, it should say N700. It means that whenever you uh, animate it, it has a window that says Blender Render, and there's 700 pictures to make this overall. And each picture uh, has 16 parts to it, so it, it uh, does it little by little. And um, after that, if you want to animate it, you just want to go up here, and there should be a button that says A N I M, and it uh, it stands for animate. And if you like this video and you thought it was helpful, please leave comments. Um, and I would really appreciate it if you get a bunch of people to watch this video. And uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, tell your friends about it. It's pretty cool. Thanks.